Hello everyone, nowadays you can easily see ships with a tonnage of hundreds of thousands of tons moving at sea waiting for goods or oil to reach all over the world. But the thing that helps them stop is the main character in today's video. To stop these giant ships, people have to use ship anchors, which consist of two main parts, the anchor and the chain. Made of alloy steel with the main components of iron, carbon, silicon, manganese, they are added with molybdenum or chromium for durability and superior corrosion resistance. They can operate for 20 to 50 years if properly maintained. However, nothing lasts forever. After a period of tireless operation, these chains will be retired. So what will people do with them? Considering the composition and technical properties of these chains, they can be an invaluable resource for other uses. So they will be recycled to continue a new life cycle. In today's video, let's learn about the process of recycling these anchor chains. First, after being removed from old ships, these anchor chains are transported to a recycling plant. Because of their large volume, removing anchor chains is a complex process that requires a high level of skill and close coordination to ensure safety. At the ship breaking yard, the process begins with securing the ship, collecting the chains, and lifting the anchors out of the water using a winch system. Workers then use chain cutters or link breakers to break up the chains, remove the connecting pins, and lower them to the ground using a crane. This is a local recycling plant where workers with rudimentary equipment use their skills to give them a new life. First, workers use oxyacetylene cutting machines to cut these links. The temperature generated by this cutting machine reaches 3,200 degrees Celsius, melting the steel, and the oxygen gas will blow strongly into the cutting area, helping to create a clean cut, making the steel material cut through without being deformed. However, the cutting process creates a large amount of smoke and sparks and requires high skills to operate safely. The links continue to be cut smaller until they are about 10 centimeters long. In countries such as Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, the ship recycling industry creates many jobs for people, but also brings many consequences due to unsafe working environments and rudimentary tools. Now our links are ready to start a new life. They are put into the furnace to heat up. The temperature of the furnace will reach about 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. When the steel is red hot, its crystal structure changes, making the iron more flexible and easy to deform under the influence of external forces. Therefore, it is more convenient for the recycling process. After the steel is red hot, it will be shaped. This is the step that combines strength and skill, ingenuity. The automatic hammer provides strong impact force to shape, while the worker skillfully changes the position of the steel bar to shape. Under the great impact force of the hammer, the steel bar flattens, the worker skillfully places a small steel bar to create an eyelet. The steel is continuously heated to ensure the temperature is suitable for the shaping process. Each time it is heated red hot, the steel bar is given a new shape. The wings of the pickaxe here are created by beating two parts of the chain to the sides. One wing is made with a pointed tip, the other wing is made with a flat tip. The pickaxe is shaped many times to achieve the desired shape and size. Finally, after cooling, the pickaxe is painted with a protective paint and is ready for a new life. The ship's anchor chain is made of hard steel, which has good resistance to force and abrasion. This steel is highly durable, so the pickaxe is not only durable over time, but also resistant to environmental impacts. Anchor chains after long journeys at sea after completing their mission, are recycled. 
This is the beginning of a new, more sustainable life cycle, a typical example of the circular economy. What do you think after watching this video? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it interesting and useful, please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next interesting videos. Now goodbye and see you again.